What is up people of the world? This is Yoda Sauce 1129 also known as Hooded Cloak and today I will be reviewing the April 2014 Foldabot Musang. Uh, now Musang is based on the Likas bot Kapit by Lester Bernaldes of course. He is the third member to be released. The first are Batikron and Gaspang. And also, if you want to check out the original Likas bot review, you can click somewhere around here to check it out. So yeah, let's get on. So, this is what he looks like, and this is the original version Kapit. And this is a toy guard, of course. As you can probably guess, he has the same amount of parts as Gaspang, the March 2014 uh, Foldbot because they're both gonna be the legs so he of course has 11 parts two sleeves uh, four legs two arms and a head a tail and a main body so yes the, he's gonna be like the, the left leg and yeah let's get on to the toy so here is the Musang toy and for the review I will also be bringing out the original design that was based on Kapit so I can compare the two so you can already see Musang is taller he is about same height as Kaspang of course he is 3 inches while Kapit is 2 and a half that's about it so I'll also be bringing Gaspang along so you can see how they vary so you can see both of course they have that eyebrow thing going on focus yeah and of course one thing that I noticed from this guy Musang is that he doesn't have the finger thing like Gaspang does so yeah that that's probably about the difference aside from patterns of course aside from the design and also the fact that Musang has ears so yeah that's about all the similarities between the two so here they to transform Musang you just take out the tail blade and the arms and you put the tail in and the head there we go and for Kapit, you just tuck in his arms, and that's about it. So yeah, he looks more like a bear cat, just like how Batik Run looks more like a deer. While the original one, Kapit, he looks okay. He looks okay, but he looks more crocodile-like. His design is more kagat. But it, they're both okay. They're both awesome in their own ways. So yeah, let's get on to the bio. Musang is a member of the Likasbots. He protects the forest and prefers his bearcat mode over his robot mode. But when he does transform, he uses his razor sharp claws to rip his target to shreds. Musang turns into Likastron's left leg. So, not much to say about this uh, bio. It's just like he helps the Likasbots and the other Likasbots in protecting the forest, maybe? In Foldabot mode, the Agimat on Musang's chest gives him spirit energy. His tail conceals a deadly blade. Also, it's it. Uh, I'm not really like going to say he stands out among the other Likasbots because Kaspang had this, the scales. In Bearcat mode, he has an enhanced optic system and night vision. His claws can rip through dense metal. Yeah, that that's something that's a bit different, I guess. He has claws. His intelligence is 2, his endurance is 5, strength is 5, speed is 3, and special skill is 1. He's probably... he's pretty good in his endurance and strength but when it comes to his special skill intelligence I'm guessing it's not that good because he only has intelligence too so he must he's probably not that smart so in the original design and in the revised uh, design by Koya Joe Mike you can see that the color has changed it's more of a lighter blue now instead of the dark blue and yeah that he put in yellow instead of the purple the indigo color and of course he has like those claws in his feet now and yeah I think it's probably about it so that is about it for the review guys make sure to leave a comment and like this video and 
share this with your Foldabot friends, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Once again, I'll be moving in a few weeks, and yeah, have a good day, guys.